Welcome 50U athletes to Orthodox. Uh, we are so excited to have you for our UNAA qualifiers. I'm Yadi. I will be doing the walkthrough for the course for tomorrow. Um, just be advised, we will not be doing demos today because we did have a little injury occur, so I'm very sorry about that. If you have any questions the day of competition, please make sure to let me know. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start off with um, our first obstacle is a two, two point obstacle and it's called Tarzan Alley. Tarzan Alley will start on these tires. You will traverse the ropes. Your feet cannot touch the ground, although you can hook J hook, S hook on the rope, that's fine. Um, this will be your first point, two hands on the rope. Remember feet off the ground. You will then traverse all the way, use the ropes. Your second point will come once both feet are on this platform. For your second obstacle, we have another two point obstacle. It's called chucking along. You will start in this yellow box, grabbing the chucks. You will take the chucks with you. You can use the rock holes, there's tons of rock holes, or smear the wall, but you're bringing the chucks along with you this entire, this entire way. Once you've grabbed both hands on this ring, you will get your first point. You have to have control. You'll bring your ring across. We will go down to um, this dyno. I will have these marked the day of competition. You will be grabbing the furthest down holds, feet here, and you will be dynoing up to that bar. Two hands on the bar. That will be your second point. You come on down. Then we have a one point obstacle, fast lane. It will start on the smallest shrinking step. Then you go ahead and come all the way top to your vault box to give you your one point. Then we have traverse the verse. Traverse the verse is a two point obstacle. You will start both hands on the opposite side of the orange tape. You have to hang before you can move your hands across. You will do flip hanger all the way across to the knobs. Your first point will come when both hands are on these pegs. Then you can move the pegs however you want to reach the rings. Bring the rings with you all the way to these last two uh, pegs, the pink and the red, hanging. Then you can come down to get your second point. We have hardcore parkour next. We will start with this balance beam. Once both feet are on the balance beam, you're, it starts. You'll go over the wall. You will um, jump onto this box, which will give you your first point. Second point, you will have to balance across the railing, no hands allowed, onto this box here with both feet to get your second point. Next, we're going to our fast lane. Again, it's a one point obstacle, just the opposite way around. You will vault onto this box. You will go down carefully, to, down these steps to the last one. You will get your first point. Then we have the by hook or by crook. By hook or by crook, you can run to the trampoline. You can start on the trampoline, that's totally fine. You will bring the cane with you into uh, the hoop. So you have to jump, grab, bring the cane with you. From there, you will swing. You can either grab the ring. You will grab, your first point will come when you grab both hands on the wing nut. You will use the wing nut to shape the next wing nut and down to the first box. So this box will give you your second point. You cannot precision jump from the wing nut to the box. You have to lache, catch, then come on down. Then we have the Ludix line. The Ludix line will start on this box. It's a two point obstacle. Your first point will come once you zip line, zip line, you will lache, you will big hug the punching bag. Full control on the punching bag will give you your one point. Your second point will start once you use the punching bag and all this equipment to the devil steps to get you to this last step. Your feet have to be hanging before you can come on down. You can lache to the devil steps, you can reach to the devil steps, whatever works for you. But remember, you have to hang before you come down to get your second point. Then we have the cat attack. Cat attack is a one point obstacle. You will be starting on this platform, floor is lava. You will be cat grabbing onto the coin step. From the coin step, you can jump from the top or you can step over and then you will cat grab to the next one. Step over, use the rest. You have to use all the coin steps. You cannot skip anything. You will get your point once you come onto this box. Next, we have monkey around. Monkey around is a two point obstacle. You will go lache. From here, you will lache to the cliffhanger, that pink cliffhanger. You will use the pink cliffhanger to lache to the next bar. Using, um, once you're on the cliffhanger with control, you will get your first point. That's your first point. Second point will be once you monkey car all the way to the last bar. 
both hands on the last bar. We'll give you your second point. You will come on down and we will go to full send lead, two point obstacle. You will use the trapeze bar, which will be a different height, um, so just don't pay attention to that. Uh, the, the, you will trapeze all the way to the bar. That is one point, full control for one point, not peeling off or touching it. Then from a lache from the bar to the pipe, with hands, you will only use hands to go down the PVC pipe. Once both feet touch the box, you will get your second point. Then we will go to balance. You will start on this side. Um, you can start anywhere on this side of the pipe. You have to go to that platform. If you want to start like here, where one foot's on it, it's totally fine. I will allow that. This is a one point obstacle. So both feet have to land on this platform. And last and not least, we have our rope climb. So for the rope climb, you can jump if you want. You can use J-hook, S-hook, legless, whatever works for you. But you have to ring the bell. Once you ring the bell, we will clock your end of your run time. You have a limit of four, you have a time limit of four minutes. But uh, we're very excited to see you tomorrow. We will have time before your run to answer any questions. You'll be able to walk through it and look at the height and the different obstacles. Um, so we'll see you tomorrow.